Hi friends, welcome to Santhi Gopal. In this video, we will learn about repeat load case. What is repeat load case and how to use it? Repeat load case is a load combination combination that is a primary load case itself, and it combines the primary load cases. What does that mean? That means the repeat load case will be acting like a primary load case. It will be analyzed all the load combinations. Added in the repeat load case. The difference between repeat load case and a load combination is you can see the statics check of repeat load case. In load combinations, after the analysis, it just algebraically sums the results. While repeat load case acts as a primary load case and being analyzed for that case. Okay, so how to define repeat load case? Just click on load case. Uh, load case detail press add it's just like a regular load case okay let's say it's a dl and another is an l live load case okay so let's make this two repeat load cases why because dead load we have discretized the dead loads in self aid super dead and void Likewise, we have discretized the live load in live load less than 3, live load terrace, and live load greater than 3. But for combinations and everything, live loads needs to be the one case so that we don't need to remember all the load case numbers. Okay? And the same is for the case dead load. Okay, so let's make this dead load a repeat load case. Just select that dead load, press add, and click on repeat load. Just add this reload to it. You can factorize it as per your requirement. Press add. Now the case is dead load, but it includes other primary load cases. Okay. Likewise, in live load, create a repeat load case for the live load less than greater than three, and okay. This is also a repeat load case. Okay. Now let's go to analysis and select print statics. Here. Okay, just add it. We have added it. There is print static set already in the okay. It is there. Let's analyze the structure. We have there is no load case in the live load greater than this. That's why the warning is being shown that we want to analyze the structure without any load in the load case ok the structure has been analyzed let's go to the output file to see what repeat load case will do for you go to results total apply load applied load that is self -aid. this is the self of the structure how do you know that this is the self of the structure sorry this is the for load case 1 our load cases let's see what are the load cases okay the self is load case one yes this is the self of the structure load case two you can see that total reaction summation of total applied loading total moments and total reaction of the structure okay this is the super dead load that is floor finish apply to the structure likewise you can particularly see how much load of walls slab floor finish etc is going in the structure but at the end you want the total dead load you can see the total dead load here in the repeat load case okay this is the benefit of it and if you want to find the cg of the load all you have to do is you have to divide the load to the moment that is moment divided by load will give you the cg of the load okay and as you can see center of force is being given you can particularly get the point center of force for particular load cases that is your dead load your floor finish your wall loads etc and at the end for the total dead load and total, total live load and you can also create a particular 
Lord Kongen and repeat Lord for dead plus life so that you can see the CG of the structure for dead plus life. Okay, if you want CG for every cases, all you have to do is you have to create load combinations as repeat load case. Okay, this this is the CG of the structure. And this is for dead plus lag. Okay. This is total self -made. And try to utilize repeat load case as the backbone because you can get the particular load case details as well as the combined effect of that load cases. Add to use it as per your requirements and you will learn how to use it. Thank you for watching us. Keep watching.